thought I'd start out by uh, giving an update on the pump design. Uh, we now have one 3D printed part that looks like this. It's basically a part that will fit inside of the one inch PVC pipe. It's basically a funnel and uh, it goes down to a hole that's about uh, 12 millimeters in diameter and uh, that holds a marble. Uh, but it also will take the uh, uh, spigot out the top. So uh, this is the water delivery system. So by making these two pieces identical, we only have to 3D print one design. And um, the, uh, the, the, bar the wall of the pump is now uh, has a hole in it for the air to come in. So instead of the air coming in the top, it comes in the side, and that's a one and a quarter inch PVC pipe. The uh, parts go together like this, and the marble goes on there, and the top goes on, and uh, those two pieces fit in there like that. And then you put the uh, you put the two pieces in, and you've got a. Uh, I'll, I'll put it together here in a minute, and see what it looks like. Okay, so this is the uh, finished unit, and um, basically it's the same as the other pumps that I've built, but um, we have uh, the bottom with the marbles in the bottom, and the air comes in the side, and the water comes out the top, and what I do is I put a uh, half inch PVC pipe over these to uh, guide the water up to the top of the planter box. Okay, this is the uh, finished assembled pump with uh, air coming out the side. I use a tie wrap to tie it to the half inch PVC pipe so that it gets some stability. And uh, both of these go up to the, uh, through the reservoir and up to the top of the uh, planting system. This pump sits about uh, half an inch off the bottom of the reservoir. And I'm going to show you all that in the next couple of uh, segments of this video. All right, this is the final design of the uh, reservoir. And uh, in here, we're just basically going to store water. The, uh, the pipe structure is there to hold up the float valve. And uh, the two inch pipe on the top is a reservoir that will continue to fill the bucket as uh, time goes on. But water will come up uh, and shut, shut off from the reservoir uh, when it gets to the top of the bucket. So this is the bottom of the hydroponics bucket that's going to use the airlift pump. All right, this shows the bucket that will go on the top. And uh, there's a, a half inch PVC pipe that goes through a hole in the, uh, in the bottom of the bucket. And uh, it basically is housing the uh, pipe that, uh, here's, the, here's the marble pump. I bring the air in the side this time, and the uh, outlet is here, and then the plastic pipe goes up to the top and comes out on top. So uh, that's it. This just sits, uh, goes through the lid of the bottom bucket, and it sits in the bucket so that uh, this pump is uh, about a half inch off the bottom of the reservoir. All right, this is the fully assembled uh, garden with the air pump in the reservoir and the pipe that comes up with the delivery hose right here. This is the hose that will deliver the water uh, into the plant, etc. So uh, that's it. Air hose is down here, and uh, this will be connected to the air. And uh, this puppy will uh, pump like crazy. So we want to put water in the reservoir. We just uh, take, take this top off and uh, fill that up with water. And it sits there and uh, feeds the reservoir, keeps the reservoir at a solid level of about 13 inches, which is the height of the bucket. So that's it. Next step is to fill it up with water and fire it up. Okay, and here's the finished product. Uh, both of the, <clears throat> the uh, barrels are inside these nice uh, uh, 
pots so that the uh, ugly barrels don't show. And uh, we have uh, two different kinds of plants going here. We got one that's uh, basically a Dutch bucket with uh, a tomato growing, and the other one is a uh, four pot system. Uh, they're both independent systems running uh, on one air pump. So that's what it looks like, and um, I think it's going to look pretty good. Next spring, I'll probably have six or seven of these out in the yard as my garden.